Hello, fifth graders. Today, we are going to start this week's word study. And this week's word study is going to focus on three Latin roots. And those three roots are spect, port, and form. So we are going to look at and study words that have those Latin roots inside of them. To do that today, I'm going to have you start by getting out your notebook and writing down this chart right here. So for this chart, I need you to make three columns, and I want you to write those Latin roots up at the top, spect, port, and form. So before we continue, pause this and make sure you have this chart on your paper, please. All right, now when you're ready to continue, the first thing we're gonna do is write down what each one of these roots means. So the root spect, which you can see right here, means to look, to look at something. So any word that has spect in it means has something to do with looking at something or what something looks like. The next one is port, which is right here. And any word that has port in it, um, the Latin root port means to move. So any word that has port in it has something to do with moving something. And lastly, we have form. And form means to shape. So any words we see with the root form in it have to do with the shape of something or how something is shaped. So let's take a look at our first word. And every time we study a word today, I'm gonna to have you jot it down in the correct column here. So our first word right here is inspection. Do you see one of the Latin roots in here by any chance? I hope you see the Latin root spect right here in the middle. And that means to look. So think about what inspection means. When I think of an inspection, I think of a house inspection. And that means to look carefully at a house. So the word inspection means to look carefully at something. Like I said, I think of a house inspection. When somebody buys a new house, they have somebody come do what is called a house inspection. And the house inspector looks at every detail of the house from the roof to the floors to the pipes to the um, electrical um, circuits and make sure everything is working and is in proper condition. So an inspection is when we take a look, a close look at something. So we need to write this word in the spect column. All right, the next word we have that we are going to study here is export. Think about what comes to your mind when you hear the word export. And then look for a Latin root. Do you see one of those Latin roots? Hopefully you see the Latin root port right here, right? Which meant to move. So this has something to do with moving something. So export, think of it as, let's say somebody in the United States makes a product and they want to sell the product to people in other countries they have to export their product that means they have to send it out of their country they have to send it somewhere else so export means to move something away from you to move something to somewhere else so we need to write this word in the port column all right let's continue our third word is deform. So first I want you to look for one of those Latin roots. Hopefully you see the root form right here. And remember form had to do with meant to shape, has to do with the shape of something. So to deform something means to shape something incorrectly. It means something is wrong with something's shape. If I am baking cookies and I cut out, I roll out my cookie dough and then I use a cookie cutter to cut them out, but I accidentally mess up one of the cookies, then I have deformed that cookie because the shape of it is wrong compared to the other cookies. All right, on to our next word here. Our next word is perspective. Again, I want you to look for one of those roots. Hopefully you found it right here, spect. And as we go back to spect, that means to look. This has to do with how we look at something. So 
your perspective is how you see something, how you look at something, maybe a belief you have. So I want you to think about broccoli. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. You might not like broccoli. So if I like broccoli and you dislike broccoli, that means our perspective about broccoli are different. That means we look at broccoli differently. I look at broccoli as a great tasting healthy vegetable. You may look at broccoli as something completely disgusting and that's okay. We can have different perspectives about broccoli. So spect again means to look at something and our perspective means how we see something, how we look at something. All right, we got a couple words left. So we're gonna scroll down here. Our next word is portable. Again, let's start with our Latin root. The Latin root in this word is port. So we need to write that down in the port column and it means to move. So port portable means something that you can move. Something I think of, a, think of that is portable is a portable fan. Most fans plug into the wall and you can't move them very far. They're on a cord that's only a few feet long. So you plug them into the wall, you have to leave them where they're at, right? But let's say you go to the beach and it's really hot outside. It's nice to have a little fan that you can carry around with you wherever you would like to. So a portable fan is a fan that you can carry around with you wherever you want to carry it. You can move it wherever you want to move it. It has no restrictions to where you can move it. So something that is portable is something that you can move around easily. All right, we have one more word. The last word is conform. So Let's look for the Latin root that you see. Hopefully you see the word or the root form right here at the end. So to conform, let's say your class gets to have a party and you're voting on either an ice cream party or a pizza party. And everybody in the class, except for two people, vote for a pizza party. Just two people vote for an ice cream party. Well, your class can't all have different parties. We can't have some people having an ice cream party and some people having a pizza party. So to conform means to take the same shape. Now that doesn't necessarily mean the physical shape, like a circular shape or a square shape. That could be, um, it could also mean structure, take the same structure. So our class is going to have to, all of us are going to have to conform our decision. Our decision is going to have to have the same structure, the same shape. So we are all going to have to agree on either pizza or ice cream. So to conform means that everybody or everything takes the same shape or the same structure. And like I said, that could be the physical shape of something or just the structure of people's beliefs. People can conform their beliefs if they make their beliefs all the same structure and all the same shape. So we could all conform our decision on what type of party if we can all agree to have a pizza party. So conform means to take the same shape or the same structure when it comes to something. And that is our last word. So your chart now should look like this. You should have two words in each column. If there's any of these words that you really were not sure about or comfortable with, I would encourage you to look them up a little bit more, write them in a sentence, or draw a little picture of them, just a little sketch of each word to help you remember them better. Tomorrow we will continue by looking at more words that have the Latin root spect, port, and form. Bye.